everyone, my name is Leanne and today we're going to be trashing my Kindle TBR. Lots of people have done different versions of this kind of idea. Um, I think one of my favourite versions of this is when Emma from Drinking By My Shelf does her Trash My TBR series. I have so many unread books that I have on Kindle and most of them I bought like several, several years ago. I don't think I've bought a book on Kindle since like... 2017 I want to say. When I first started buying books on Kindle my mind was kind of blown by like the concept of the 99p deal and I would literally like count down until the day when the new monthly deals were released on Amazon. Now my feelings on this are a lot more complicated. I don't necessarily agree with us undervaluing books to the point where they cost 99p and obviously I have a lot of complicated feelings over how that area of the market is kind of dictated by Amazon. Everyone's consumer decision is their own personal choice and I don't think we should ever blame the consumer for what Amazon do. Anyway, I don't really want this video to be one where I get into my thoughts on Amazon. I kind of just want you to tell me what I should read from this list. So I'm going to go through all of the books that I have unread on my Kindle and I would like you to tell me if I should trash them. I suspect most of these books on this list, I'm going to say like 80% of these books, I won't have any interest in reading anymore. I would just buy anything that I had heard of back in the day and I really don't do that anymore. And I bought a lot of books in genres that I just wouldn't read now. But if there's anything that I'm kind of on the fence about and I think maybe I do want to read it and you know it's trash, let me know. Anyways, let's just get into the books. I don't have an actual Kindle because I don't care. So I'm just looking on my phone and the first set of books is, I guess, the Magician series. I guess that's what it's called by Charlie N. Holmberg. So there's the Glass Magician, the Master Magician and the Paper Magician. I'm guessing this is like a fantasy series so I'm probably not going to be interested in reading this one. Next on the list is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the universe. I know this is like a YA queer story that was really popular on booktube a few years ago but I think some stuff has come out about the author in like recent years and I'm not sure if that's something I want to support. I don't actually really know enough about it to state an opinion so I think that's something I should do some research on. The next book is a biography of Sylvia Plath. I would have just bought this when I was in uni <laughs> thinking it would be like an educational resource but I don't think I actually want to read it. Next we have Dietland which I think I might still be interested in reading this book. As far as I'm aware this is a book that really like rallies against diet culture and like celebrate women's relationship with food I think. I also have Lies We Tell Ourselves by Robin Talley. I don't have any interest in reading this one. I've read a couple of other Robin Talley books and I didn't think they were very good and also <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's a white author and she's writing about the experiences of a black girl and her experiences of racism and also she uses the word coloured on the front cover so yeah I think I'll be giving this one a miss. <laughs> the next one is the Improbability of Love by Hannah Rothschild. My blanket's falling off and I'm so cold. So this was shortlisted for the Women's Prize a few years ago, but thinking about what the book is actually about, it has a lot to do with like art and painting and that's not something that I really have any knowledge or interest in, but in saying that, my reading tastes do tend to align with the Women's Prize and I do have another book from the Women's Prize of the same year um, and that's Ruby by Cynthia Bond and I do think I'm still interested in reading this one. We also have You by Caroline Kepnes. I have watched a TV show of this now, so I don't, I don't know if I really want to read the book. The Lemon Grove by Helen Walsh. I don't even know what that is. Um, the first book in the Divergent series by Veronica Roth. I don't, I don't know why I have this book. I mean, this would have been like early on in my booktube days where I still kind of thought I was into YA fantasy and I'm really not. Also, I have A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas on this list and I just don't have any interest in reading either of those books. I have a few books by comedians. So I have Yes Please by Amy Poehler, I Can Make You Hate by Charlie Brooker and Thinking About It Only Makes It Worse by David Mitchell. Again, these were just books like, oh, I like these people, so I'll buy their books for 99 p and I shouldn't have. <laughs> Girl in the Red Coat by Kate Hamer. I'm still kind of interested in this one but I did read her second novel The Doll Funeral and I didn't really like it. Time Travelling with a Hamster by Ross Welford. I think this is a middle grade book. So it's probably not too long uh, but I'm not sure if I want to prioritise reading it if it makes sense. Let me know if you've read this one. Also I have On Beauty by Zadie Smith. I have read a few Zadie Smith books and I've never loved any of them but I know lots of people are massive fans of her. I also have The Tiger's Wife. I think it won the Women's Prize like quite a few years ago now. So I think that's one I might still be interested in reading. Um, we have Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. I don't even really remember what this is about but I doubt I would have any interest in reading it. I Saw a Man by Owen Shears. I read Resistance by Owen Shears and I hated it so I don't know why I bought this book. The Book of Memory. Don't know what this is. <laughs> Men Explain Things to Me and Other Essays by Rebecca Solnit. I do think I'm still interested in reading this one and if I remember correctly it's quite short. The North Water and His Bloody Project. I think the year I got these they were either long 
unlisted or shortlisted for the Booker Prize and I thought I was gonna read all of the books that were on the shortlist and my reading tastes don't massively overlap with the Booker Prize. I don't think I have any interest in reading either of these books. I also have a book called Leaving Berlin. I think I got this when I was on a real like World War II fiction kick. Uh, I don't think I want to read this one anymore. We have a few YA books. So What's a Girl Gotta Do by Holly Bourne. This is the final book in the Spinster trilogy. I read the first two books and I loved them and I never bought the third book but I did buy it on Kindle and I think I just didn't want the series to be over and I didn't want to I didn't want to have read all of Holly Bourne's books because I loved her writing so much but obviously she has bought, brought out loads of books since then. I really should reread the Spinster trilogy like the whole thing including this final book. Oh I have a Juno Dawson book so I have all of the above by Juno Dawson. I've read two three Juno Dawson books now and I really enjoyed all of them so I think I would definitely still like to read all of the above. I think it's one of her earlier books. Second Chance Summer. I don't think I want to read that. We Are Not Ourselves by Matthew Thomas. This book is really fucking long and someone I went to uni with recommended it to me because it was like their favourite book so I thought I might read it and I just I, I don't care. Nothing Tastes as Good by Claire Hennessy. So I was really keen to read this book but the author has done stuff that I find a bit dodgy. <laughs> so I don't know. I am still interested in reading it especially because it's Irish and yeah but I don't know. London Belongs to Us by Sarah Manning. I think I would still be interested in reading this one maybe. It's a YA book and it's set over the course of 24 hours in London. And I think maybe when I'm missing being in London so much this might be a fun book to read. I don't know. I also have a few more YA books. So we have The Shallow Graves. I don't remember anything about what this book is. And When We Collided by Emery Lord. Equally don't remember anything about this. I also have The Drowning of Arthur Braxton. Something to do with time travel in that book maybe. And I have Cogheart by Peter Bunzel. I think this one's middle grade and I have been really loving my middle grade this year so maybe I would like to give this one a read. The Rook by Daniel O'Malley. I think this is fantasy or like sci-fi so I don't I don't really think I'm interested in this one. Bridget Jones, Mad About the Boy. So this is the third Bridget Jones book. I have read the first two and really enjoyed them, but I have heard the third one isn't isn't as good. But I think I do still ultimately want to read it. I also have We Have Always Lived in the Castle, which I do still want to read. And Everyday Sexism by Laura Bates. I think it's ridiculous that I haven't read this book yet. I think how I feel about a lot of the books that I definitely do still want to read is that they feel like they're books that you know, I'll get to one day, you know? Foxlow, I think I read half of this book and I don't remember why I didn't finish it. The Next Together by Lauren James, don't know what this book is. Furthermore, and The Raven Boys, I think they're both YA fantasy and I don't have too much interest in reading them. Solitaire by Alice Oseman, I do have an interest in reading, but I think I would like to get physical copies of Alice, all of Alice Oseman's book. I feel like I can't justify like buying them all in one go. I have read another one of her book, the one that's about a boy band. Mon Monster by CJ Scoot. Don't really know what this is. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. So these are kind of like sci-fi fairy tale retellings, right? That concept does intrigue me. I also have loads of Neil Gaiman books. So I have A Nasty Boy's Trigger Warning, which I think is short stories. Neverwhere, Fragile Things, which I think is also short stories, and Smoke and Mirrors. I don't think I have any interest in reading any more Neil Gaiman books. How to Find Love in a Bookshop. I think I would still like to read this one, but I don't. I think it's one of those books that I will never think it's a priority to read it. The Versions of Us by Lauren Barnett. I think I do. I don't really remember anything about this book but I think I still want to read it. The Paper Menagerie and Other Stories. These are sci-fi stories. I think why did I buy so many sci-fi and fantasy books? The Fifth Wave. Don't have any interest. I have the second book in the Divergent series. Insurgent. Don't know why I have this. Trail of Broken Wings. I don't know. The Penguin Lessons. This sounds a bit twee. I think it's a true story about a man's relationship with a penguin. More Than This by Patrick Ness. I don't think I've ever read a Patrick Ness book but I always hear really good things about his writing so this is where it ends which I think is about a school shooting. Our Chemical Hearts, don't know what this is. American Gods, another Neil Gaiman book. Another comedian book, I have Why Not Me by Mindy Kaling. I like Mindy Kaling but I don't know if I want to read a whole book about her life. Us by David Nichols. I, I don't know if I want to read David Nichols book. Really don't know. <laughs> Bellside by M.R. Carey. I have read The Girl With All The Gifts and I enjoyed it but it's not really like, not really for me. I Love Dick by Chris Krause. You know when a book is so hyped that it means don't want to read it anymore. Uh, Suicide Notes from Beautiful Girls. That title just puts me off. These next 
few I do still want to read. So we have The Time In Between by Nancy Tucker, which is a memoir about a girl who survived an eating disorder. Night Walking by Sarah Moss. I have read quite a few Sarah Moss books and I love her writing. Cut, which is a non-fiction book about FGM. Why Be Happy When You Could Be Normal by Jeanette Winterson, which is her memoir. I still definitely want to read this. And it's called A Breakup because it's broken. I have owned this book for so many years. As with all of the books on this list, but I just, maybe it'll be too real, you know? The Butcher's Hook by Janet Ellis. I think this is historical fiction, which also isn't really my jam. On the Edge of God, don't really know what that is. And The Graces, which is a YA book about witches. And that is a subsection of fantasy that I do really like. Nerve, don't know what that is beyond a film with Emma Roberts in it. Orange Boy by Patrice Lawrence. I do still have an interest in reading this one. The Bone Sparrow, don't really know what this is. These are all YA. Not If I See You First by Eric Lindstrom and Remix by Non Pratt. The Book of Phoenix by Nedia Corafor. So I hear amazing things about Nedia Corafor all the time. But again, I'm not a massive fantasy reader. The Nest, don't remember what this is. Uh, a Natural History of Dragons. This is another one that I hear so many good things about, but I'm just not really a fantasy reader. The Magician King by Lev Grossman. So this is the second book in the Magician series. I love the first book in this series. I think it's one of my favorite books of all time, even though I can recognize there are some massive problems with it, but it's just something that made such a profound impact on me when I read it and I really enjoyed it. And I think that kind of makes me reluctant to read the second book in the series. Like, I think the first book was so great just as it was. So I kind of wish there wasn't more books in the series. <laughs> the Portable Veblen. So this is another book that was on the Women's Prize shortlist in that same year as Ruby and whatever the other one was called. <laughs> Stiletto, which is the second book in that Daniel O'Malley series. Why do I have several books in the same series when I've not read the first book? When Dimple Met Rishi, I still do have some interest in reading this book. Oh, Under the Udala Trees. Have I read this book? After Alice by Gregory Maguire. I am such a huge Alice in Wonderland fan, but I think a lot of the retellings can be a bit rubbish. Not all of them, like the one that Gina Dawson did recently was amazing, but I think there are a lot of trash ones out there. Aurabelle, which is the follow-up to Lorelei, which is a mermaid YA story that I did enjoy. Commonwealth by Anne Patchett, don't really remember what this book's about. One of Us is Lying, which I know is a book that loads of people have really loved. Solar Bones was one of those books that was like long listed for the man booker or something and it's a book written all in one sentence. Genuine Fraud. I don't think I have any interest in reading, what is she called? E. Locker. The Actor's Life, which is by the woman who plays Pam in The Office. <laughs> the Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock. I think I was drawn into this book by the hype and the cover. It's quite a chunky book and it's historical, so I don't, I don't know. All the Dirty Parts by Daniel Handler. Give me your thoughts on this one if you've read it. He Said, She Said by Erin Kelly. I read one Erin Kelly book and I thought it was fine, but I think the subject matter of this book is a bit more interesting to me. Soulmates by Holly Bourne. Again, I didn't want there to be an end to Holly Bourne's book, so I didn't read this one. The Looking Glass House by Vanessa Tate. This is one of those other like Alice in Wonderland inspired stories. Man at the Helm by Nina Stib Stibby. I don't think I have any interest in reading this. I don't really remember what it's about. Um, Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon, I don't really think is in my reading tastes. The Marriage Plot by Jeffrey Eugenides, I have zero interest in reading. Another Neil Gaiman book, I have Stardust. Um, Golden Sun by Pierce Brown, which is the second book in like a sci-fi series. I've read the first book and I thought it was fine, but there were some things that I really didn't like about it. Um, Extraordinary Means by Robin Schneider. I think this is a book about like teenagers with cancer. <laughs> um, I don't think I have any interest in reading this. Um, Girl Boss by Sofia Amoruso. I don't think I have any interest in reading this. Mr. Penumbra's 24 hour bookstore. I DNF'd halfway through because I was reading it at a really turbulent point in my life and I just, I just stopped reading it. I, I would still have an interest in reading it. I still also want to read Trouble by Non Pratt. The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender. I don't know what this book is about. Don't know what Stum by Jem Lester is about. Don't know what Be Frank With Me by Julia Claiborne Johnson is about. Don't know what All the Birds in the Sky by Charlie Jane Anders is about. Nine Fox Gambit by Yoon Ha Lee. I, I don't know why I have this book. Like this book is so not in my reading tastes. Um, I have a few more that I would think I would like to read these ones. So The Bricks That Built the Houses by Kay Tempest. I love, or Kay Tempest, sorry, they have changed their name 
2K and they identify as non-binary and use they them pronouns. Refugee Boy by Benjamin Zephaniah I definitely still want to read. Making Up As I Go Along by Marion Keys I want to read. Orphans of the Carnival by Carol Birch. Don't know what this is. And I have another Gina Dawson book. I have Margot and Me. I love Gina Dawson. I should definitely read these books. And that is it. They are all of the ebooks that I have unread on my Kindle or on my Kindle app. Some of these books are actually on my like physical wish list as well. So I should just read them digitally. I guess I just, I don't think about them or think about prioritizing them when I have so many unread physical books on my shelf. And then when I'm reading ebooks, I wanna prioritize what I've got from NetGalley. But anyway, down in the comments, feel free to help a girl out. Let me know if you thought any of these books were crap and I should not read them. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and a subscribe so you can see more of my videos. I hope you guys are doing well and I will talk to you in my next video.